<laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, so we've, I've got about 40 hours in the game already, and, um, we've explored quite a bit. We've already hit quite a few areas, in my opinion, quite a few areas. Um, and it's been awesome stories along the way. Uh, the, it's just, for me, the time period, the history in this game is so good. So good. Uh, but we, we, uh, settled. We're going to be moving into Scropeshire, however you say it. I, I was saying, uh, Skiropes, I, I don't even remember how I was saying Skiropeskiri or something like that. Um, but I think it's Shropshire is how it's actually said. But yeah, that's where we're going to be starting today. Um, see what story that this area has in store for us. I'm very, very excited. I've enjoyed every single area so far. I, I haven't really had a single area that I didn't enjoy yet. <clears throat> well, let's see here. Um... We also got to do some raids while we're out. And I was thinking about hitting this raid on my way in. Or maybe I'll just well, maybe I'll, I'll just wait. I'll wait and see what happens when we get here. Who's, who knows? Maybe the main game will tell me to go there anyways. So, Chael Wolf, I believe that's the king that we got in uh, Mercy or whatever. The king that we helped get stood up. I believe, or no, maybe it's his son. I don't, I don't remember. We're, I, don't, I think his name is Chael Wolf, one of the two. The son or the king, one of the... And that's what we're going to be working with. Or Chailbert. Yeah, not Chail Wolf. Chailbert. <laughs> Quatford. Is anybody from England? Can you verify if Quatford is still a place? Nice little livestock town. Uh, but I appreciate everybody in chat for coming and hanging out today. Sorry for the kind of late start. It was, realistically, I, I started early today because I was supposed to start at 2.30. Uh, but I clicked 2.15 <laughs> on the scroll down menu. So <clears throat> there is that. Stretch your wings, Sunan. He's up in the, that big long house up there. It's still called that, really? <laughs> That's awesome. Crystal uh, got bit today, chat, by my 1911. Mm. <laughs> I was trying to show her how to rack it, and uh, it bit her hand pretty good. She's like, I don't like that gun. <laughs> So now she doesn't like it. Let's see you, old friend. We've had nothing for days. Excellent turnips. It's all I could find. It smells good, that. There you go, young man. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah, it's the sun. It's the sun. You wouldn't stop a lamb. Come on. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. 
ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rotary waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a Shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Yeah, this yeah, she was the way she was holding it, she she pulled it open like this, and then uh her palm of her hand right here got right where the the ejector is, and when it came back down, it, it bit her bit her pretty good. So it is a grave thing to be elderman in the time of war, Jelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well, but with humility. Rodri is the king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. <laughs> I know the man. You've met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Ivar, man, now, this dude's gonna to give us a hard time, brother. I, I, can, so. I see it. That. I see it. He's already caused us issues in the past. Blue, hey, with the heart and survivor re-up. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. It's not far. Just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Eva. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Damn. Our Bishop Dayalov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dayalov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Here we go. Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlove. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother. The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Jailbelt, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Chailwolf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Damn. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. 
Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. Damn. Alright, we'll start with this king. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwyriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Okay, so he doesn't care. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. So maybe we can con uh, convince Ivar to release the brother? Ivar, lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for oh, sure. Oh man, this dude, man. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. Uh, Blue with the eight months, thank you so much. Hope now you the good Brian. Sorry, not Ben. Hey, it's all good. Are you Blue, it's so all good. frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with wealth? Who is this? Uh, oh, this is the brother. You are good yet, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am, and a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well, yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises. I may be able to find you the silver you need. Mm. Under what terms? Knock a rotary from his throne. Withdraw all Britain soldiers from Shropshire and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. Hey, Chad, this might be it. This might be the way to go about doing this. Blue with the five gifted members, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And uh, everybody who receives one of those, uh, welcome to the family. But um, that that sounds like a good opportunity, but. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. Right, let me see what other options we have. Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rotri and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. This also seems like a pretty good option. If such a boon comes, I will consider your words. Ah, enough of this nonsense! <laughs> You better fucking calm down, dude. I'm gonna have to stab this dude, ain't I? We're gonna still talk to Chilbert. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be on the yet. So I think I'm gonna go with the wife, chat. I think we're gonna go with the wife. King Rodri, is it not plain that I do not wish to speak with you? Wait, who is this guy? You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Amir Abkadvar by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier, do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. 
Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. Do you think it might? Do you think it's gonna work, chat? I say, I say, we go for it. It was either this guy or the wife. I don't know, but he says he goes to him for his every decision. So we'll see. Take this. Spend it as you will until Rodri, his best path, is peace. You have a bargain. Oh, I have spoken with everyone who matters. I shall report what I know to Bishop Deola. All right, let's see how this pulls out. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? The captain of the guard will advise Rodri to sign the agreement. Peace will be yours. Let us pray Rodri takes his advice. Rodri, I see you mocking me. I challenge you. Single Ivar, no. now. Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother. Does your destiny guard him? Ivar, Uyad! you better... <laughs> God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood. Too easy. As you guys can say, I swap back to daggers. We've got the last of them. Yo, this. Ah, now that is Viking Earth diplomacy. Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to find a way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Come on, dude. Yo, Ebar is... I mean, granted, I don't know if it would have actually been peace, but... The daggers are where it's. I, I miss them. Spill your brain. I miss them so much. Good fight down there. Be 
Hey, they steal? Yeah, not wrong. Got them! Boom. It's actually really hard to fight in the water because you can't walk full speed. <laughs> the fight in the shallows over here. It's a good battle, chat. Definitely a good battle. So that's the one thing I love about this game is, um, you know, Odyssey had those big war battles, and they were so much fun. They were, they were, they were awesome. Um, this game has like kind of the same thing, but they're a little bit more dynamic. Uh, where the ones in Odyssey were very, very, they were the same thing. Just the landscape looked a tiny bit different. Uh, but I would even consider that battle we did there on par with the big battles that we do, you know what I mean, in Odyssey. You did yourself proud, Adeling. This was not a battle we needed. Rob, how you doing? When you are king, Jailbird, you won't need battles. You will crave them. Just trying to see if there's any more ration stuff here. <laughs> yeah, but Ivar just messed this whole damn thing up. You murdered Rotary's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, mm. west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury, then, once I've done some damage. Until then. See, the, the advisor there, Ginmir, or whatever his name was, he, he does thing. seem... We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Okay, so we gotta build up an army a little bit. Um... Man, Evil really messed this up, chat.
I knew that. I knew he was gonna be a problem. You know what I mean? I knew he was gonna be a problem. Okay, so first things first. Um, they said down south here. We can speak with refugees about uh, burning some carts, and then there's an outpost that we can also hit. Scrimshire is a big area, so let's go talk to these refugees real quick. Uh, if you guys are wondering what else we're playing today, we'll be playing Sons of the Forest- or Sons of the Forest. I wish fucking playing so The Forest. We'll be playing The Forest, uh, later on. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodri, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line and bring him to the table, begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through dust and quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. And thank you. Okay, so we gotta go hit the quarry location first. Find us on quarry. The quarry is located the south of the Hillgate Remnants. Okay, so we'll take the... Uh, we might actually grab some of these fast travel points. Okay, yep. That remnants that I marked there for the fast travel, that's where he told me I needed to go anyway, so. Awesome. Uh, Corey, how you doing? I should try to fight the other two witch bosses in East Anglia. Yeah, I might, I, oh, I, I might do that uh, later on for sure. Ride. Uh, Corford has a fast travel point. Or Quatford. Let me see. Oh, maybe down here at the Dane Dock. Yeah, that would be nice to get. I gotta make sure. Yeah, we're. Yep, there it is. Thank you for that. By the way, thank you for that. How do your weapons show when you have your hood on? So you go into the settings, um, Dark Lord, and there is a setting here um, for anybody who else wants to know. If you go to gameplay, there's a setting here where you can make your hood always on, whether you have your disguise on or not. Um, and that, that's what I did. So I have more of that like assassin look.
Uh, Mad Audi says, please play Isle of Sky. It's not DLC. Uh, yeah, I know it's not DLC, Mad Audi. The, the reason why I didn't do Isle of Sky was because I wasn't high enough level. I think it was recommended, like, level 250. It had a high-ass recommended level that I was nowhere as close to having. It is. There's a Z let down. Why? 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 Lost are everyone. You mostly, Adkan. Bretha, Ustre, and Setere. I served the true gods. The old ones. To be killed by you holds honor. Killing! Holds all glory. Uh, have you not got the throw weapons back skill yet? Um, I'm not sure. But I do want to get some skill points. Pretty useful too. Oh, that one right there. That is pretty cool. Missile reversal. It's not... I don't know what's going on. Be like, hey, it is what it is.
I know people said the other day that YouTube was like super broken and they couldn't like search stuff. Um, and it was like wicked weird. Uh, Travis, what's up, brother? Yeah, I appreciate you for popping in. All right, so we're gonna head up in here. We're gonna get ourselves this viewpoint. Uh, do I plan on playing the crossover arc in this stream? No, uh, not not necessarily. So we're looking for a quarry. So what the hell was that thing I just picked up off that? You see that? I got like a ball or something off of that person. This a leather ball. Okay, so map has been updated. Let's check here. So I think he said that the quarry was to the... So there's the outpost. Um, one of the outposts that we need to hit. A lot of uh, resources in there. And then here's the quarry. Okay. So I'll hit this outpost, which, like I said, has a ton of stuff in it. And then we'll swing around and hit the quarry. We're trying to do this as quiet as possible for as long as possible. They will attack on sight here. Could also use a sniper bow. Try to get some real long distance in. So this place does chock full of baddies.
<laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get the predator uh, sniper bow out for right now. Sixty-three, seventy-six. Take out all these guys on high ground really quick. Once the high ground here is cleared, definitely makes it easier for us to move around on the bottom. He's going to see the body. Maybe not. We're going to patrol making their way through here. This is the guy we want. He's a skirmisher or whatever. Pretty high level dude. Whoa! There it is, chat. There it is. On purpose, baby. It's exactly how I planned that to go. Isn't it great when a plan comes together? You know what I mean? Yeah, I believe this area should be cleared now. Okay, so we're here to destroy carts, right? Of supplies and food. Might be inside. one up here. fellow he looked like he died too said a few coins would help him on his way to the afterlife Helm. When surrounded by two or more enemies, what did I say? Increase armor when surrounded by two more enemies, additional increase the melee damage. That's not bad.
This place definitely chock full of resources. Get me out of this cursed chicken cover. Should I more for you? Man, for Dale, I'm sphered. Thank you. More valuable than cargo. I give you freedom. Now you give this shire your pike. I will. It is. Uh, should you capture any Saxons, keep them alive, we'll make use of them to build the earthenworks, or work the quarry. Good amount of supplies out of this place. Uh, thank you for the subs, too, guys. I appreciate it, Joker, and more, guys. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. There's still a bunch of little resources to loot in this area. Spills out. All we're supposed to do here is just keep loot all of the supplies. Yeah, you can see the little blue icons. Let's go up there. We have stuff behind there. I don't think I've ever had an outpost or an area that was this chock full of loot. How the hell did we get up there? Through the trees. Uh, Jorian, thank you so much for the super chat. Going to Iceland this October to see them Northern Lights. Hey, that's, that's dope as hell, man. That is dope. That's done. Now to track down their supply line. Okay. We will drag Rotary back to the peace table soon enough. So we ransacked this area. There's still a couple more uh, wells I want to get my hands on. Bit of resources, and then there's that chest across the way there. <laughs> yeah, I think we got to go that way. So we 100% stealthed this. I don't know if we'll be at a 100% stealth the quarry. We'll try, but this outpost wasn't too bad. So we're going to go here, jump in this tree. It could bring us around. Yep. Coming up here. Yep. That's it. Completely looted. Now we're going to head down to the quarry. Uh, let me see. Is there any fast travel points on the way? What? Oh, that's that Yeah, dead player symbol. Yeah, no. But there is one here that we could get after the fact.
Uh, but I do appreciate you guys. Almost 200 likes on the stream. Now, I know I have a lot of Valhalla viewers, um, you know, that are worried about the future of the series on the channel just because it is, uh, compared to everything where else we're playing, it is, it is performing very, very bad. Um, but the thing about Valhalla is I'm playing Valhalla a lot for me because it was a goal of my own to play and beat all of the Assassin's Creed games. Um, so don't sweat it too much, chat. Even if the viewership does drop quite significantly, um, I'm probably still just going to play the game anyways because I want to play it. So it's like, whatever. Um, so I'm not just going to skip this game and then go into Mirage, you know what I mean? So uh, if you are worried about the game, you know, potentially not being on the channel in the future, I mean, obviously it would help if the viewership was bigger, but it, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be playing it regardless. Yeah, I I don't I don't get the dislike for this game either. Um, in my opinion, this is this is easily one of the best Assassin's Creed games ever made. Uh, it, it's it's that good, guys. I I personally really love the setting. I like really really love the setting. So this place is I shouldn't be seen here. Quite thick. I hope should work. Um So it seems like most of the baddies are up on that end and down in the quarry. So I think we're going to start high ground first chat. We'll clear up that that ridge line up there and then we'll move down into the the actual quarry itself. Close. Deal with this dude. One of the bodies fell down into the quarry. Those guys, damn, there's a lot of them down there, chat.
I didn't kill him. They might see the body. I'm going to clear the, uh, we'll do the objectives. I just want to make sure that we, uh, clear the area out first. Go. So it's two more down on that side. So that should be most of the enemies. Stones in the ruin nearby. Those Romans knew one thing or two. Reinforce all the fortifications. Those sacks will root us out. All right, there we go. 
Start destroying these carts. Yeah, the, the, the predator bow is really nice. Nice little sniper bow. I like to showcase playing that play style, though, because, uh, you know, with a lot of the mixed information that goes around with Valhalla, people assume that the newer Assassin's Creed games, you aren't, you're not an assassin or you can't play sneaky. Um, so that's why I like to showcase that to show people like, no, you can play sneaky. If, if anything, you can play even more sneaky than you could in the older games. not blow that up while they're walking by it. Uh, so kill him for, with the membership. Welcome to the family. I really do appreciate that, man. So we got more prisoners. Now it says freeing the prisoners will help build our force. Uh, so I'm hoping that when we, if we do have a big attack on another castle, which would be awesome because I love the castle attacks, um, we'll have a bigger army to help us. Could be the last cart, and then I'm gonna go grab loot. She ran through the store real quick. Okay. Yeah, to let you guys know the door was open. <gasps> Alright, let's grab this uh gear pieces real quick. Let me see, is it up or down? It's down. Both of them are down. Been watching you for a while. I lost my. Hey, I'm sorry to hear that. So, man, that that sucks so bad, dude. Um, I'm glad I could be here for you through something like that, man. That that's rough, dude. That's really really rough. Um, but hey, you know if you ever, you, I, I tell you, tell you guys if you guys ever, uh, I'm an open book chat, and uh, you know I, I I was in the military for a long 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 time, um. So I have a strong mindset for like an open door policy. That, that's what we call it in the military. And uh, a lot of content creators might come across as unapproachable. And they, they don't do it intentionally. You know what I mean? But uh, if you guys ever just want to hit me up and, you know, say hi or whatever, I try to answer my Discord DMs as frequent as possible. Um, there might be even some of you guys who have hit me up on Discord DMs and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I, and I will get back to you when I can. Uh, like I said, I get a decent bit of DMs, but I will get back to you. So if you ever just want to message me, say, hey, what's up? Or you have a question and, you know, you, you can't get through to me on like a YouTube comment or something like that. Uh, hit me up on Discord. You guys can message me directly. Don't, you know, I, I don't, I never wanted to come across as like this intimidating figure. I, I, I want you guys to look at me as just like one of your friends, you know, like, hey, hey, man, you know, if you have a question, you just hit me up and, you know, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, let me get this, uh, explody trap. Boom.
So there's one more piece down low here. Oh, okay, so I see a crack in the wall. Hiding spot. What the hell is that? Oh, titanium. So it's like a little poem. Got bars though. Three foes overwhelmed him. There on the plane, he fought with honor. He fought. On in vain. Shed tears for matron. Matron our thane. Shed tear for matron. For matron is slain. Bars chat. <laughs> Bars. Whoa. The shield actually looked sick. Now, generally, I don't use the shields, but I do want to see what it looks like. That's pretty cool. I think if I ever got my hands on, like, maybe a short sword. Um, maybe I'd check out a sword and shield type of build, but... As of right now, double dagger is... is that's where it's at. Oh, titanium. Titanium's the next level. I need a mod. I got, I got mods. They're just... They're probably doing stuff right now, Jay. I mean, I, I... I had to buckle down on them because, you know, people like Caspi, he was just never took a day off, never took a break. Um, uh, you know, same Bad Wolf, Nelly, like, they, they all have, you know, lives and stuff. And it's not like I pay them. They do it literally out of just the kindness of their heart. So, you know, if they got stuff going on and shit like that, they got stuff going on, you know. Um, but honestly, I have... I have such a, a good community, you know, my community for the most part manages itself. There's rare occasions that we even need mods in chat for, like, if we're being honest, you know what I mean? So, uh, it's not the end of the world if none of them are here. Uh, DX Greasy, why wouldn't we be friends, man? I consider every single one of you guys a friend of mine. I wish I had some adrenaline, though, so I could get in there. <laughs> Farm up a little bit of <laughs> adrenaline right there. Yeah, I say that and all of a sudden all hell breaks loose, right? But, I mean, even just, you know, non-modded viewers, you guys manage each other and... Pretty well, you know what I mean? If somebody's acting a fool in chat, you know, you guys are quick to step up and, and, and call people out. There we go. Cleared that place out. Now let's head back. Uh, you know what? Since we're here, let's go ahead and get this fast travel point.
Oh, there's a huge power difference between you and us. I'll give you a link to the video that discusses the dilemma. What do you mean a power difference? What do I have in my settings? Or something that's making my character super strong? I turn F Groot, I turned that off though. I, I I I did have that I did have the setting on that uh with the assassinations and stuff like that, but I turned it off. Any thoughts on the Division 2? Uh, yeah, so we'll definitely be playing it um, here shortly. But probably within the next few weeks, I might start Division 2. It all just depends on uh, how everything blows over. But yeah, uh, next week, we have Sons of the Forest dropping. So that's my super, super anticipated game. I think he's talking about the game. Then what power difference? Like a real life power difference? I don't have any fucking power. <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just Brian, chat. Legit. Um. All right, so we'll head. So find a speaker, Ivar. Um. Westbury is along the road west of Hillsgate. So, Hillsgate was this area. It's nading near the northern entrance of Westbury. Okay, so west. I'm looking east like a gun. darn idiot. West is this way. I don't see it though. Hillsgate, right? Westbury is along the road west of Hillsgate. Oh, maybe up this way? Yeah, I think it's up this way. Let's go grab this. We'll cut across this area here. My plan on playing Spider Man 2? Oh, yes. Um, Probably, when does Spider-Man 2 drop? Because getting close to when Spider-Man 2 drops, I'll probably play the Miles Morales uh, that we never got around to playing. Oh, I see what you're saying, F. Grude. I, I I see what you're saying. Um, we all see you guys all see me and, and know me, but I don't I don't really know you guys other than the names. I, I mean, that's that's the thing is. Uh, I know it sounds weird to to put it like in this aspect, but you know, like when it comes to like things like meet and greets, you know, a lot of people are always like, oh man, you know, I want to meet my favorite streamer. You know, like I would love to meet Tim or Doc in real life. You know, I think that'd be really really cool. Um, but honestly, when it comes to me, I think if I were to ever do a meet and greet, like, I'm more interested in putting the face to the name. You know what I mean? Like, to me, it would be an honor and, like, a reward to meet you guys in, in real life. Um, and that, like, excites me because, you know, it's like, for instance, like, F-Grude, you know, if I met you in person, it's like, it just, it hits so much different to know that person, you know, meet you in person, see, and then when I see you guys in chat, it, it's a completely different um Type of thing. So yeah, I mean, it, it would be super awesome to meet you guys. Yeah. Uh, releasing later this year. Yeah, your guys' pictures are so tiny, though. Like, I can't see. They're literally, uh... I'd say probably a t on my screen, probably the quarter of a size of a dime, if that.
What? What? Yeah. What's that lady getting into over there, chat? Uh, so we got another tribute thing here, which... ...demands five brown trout, which I don't have. Uh, am I gonna play the new Like a Dragon? I've never even heard of that. Uh, Ace, thank you for the sub. So a lot of you guys... I mean, I could probably go through later on and start... Because uh, I can, like, click... I think I can. Hold on one second. Let me see this. So, for instance, if I click on... No, nah, okay, it doesn't let me click. Oh, yeah, I can hit go to channel. Oh, and it does, yeah. It blows up your guys' little pictures. Oh, that's awesome. I might, I might, I might do that, but then I'm gonna feel like a creeper. <laughs> oh, what does everybody look like? <laughs> All right, let's see. So there it is. There's Westbury. Found it. It's just a little peep. <laughs> Let me do a little look. A little look see. Bad monkey, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Creeper nine thousand. <000. laughs> Over here creeping on all your guys' profile pics. Um, no, yeah, yours is like, I, it looks like there's water in the background to me, and then like a smudge. It, 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 yeah, it just looks like a, honestly, it looks like a, a colored, you know, like how marbles, like you get like a little blue marble with like some of like the smudges in it. That's what it looks like. Like a little colorful marble. Or, or the globe. It might be the planet Earth. So we're almost to town. It doesn't seem like there's a uh, fast travel point down here. It might be that dock. Uh, so he's waiting near the northern entrance to the town, which would be up here. So we'll swing around the woods. And uh, try to avoid riding right into the town. Because this is uh, Saxon controlled. Well, controlled by the other guy's army. There it is. Forgot you could do that. Once you're in the area. It's not even nowhere near the northern part. This would be the northern. I would have said this would have been like the eastern entrance. I rode right past them. Uro! What's going on, brother? How you doing? Fish. 
Faith me. Be my eyes. As you are. There it is. Tailbound too. I uh, think so. A faint. Eivor, Tailbelt. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherling here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Why can't we just... Hmm. I mean, I could, I could see going after Yanir, but wouldn't even talk to him. Like, what if he'll, what if he'll betray the king? You know what I mean? Flames and smoke will warm Rodri's desire for peace. Yanir is a lesser concern. Peace is for suckling babes, but as you like. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Ah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. We roll with the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Happy hump day, like a skull. There it is, brother. Uh, I'm gonna I go stealth. To go in quietly. No point bringing every Aunt Britain down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Yes. Shelbert, listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. <laughs> I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Letterchester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. But do not take long. My blood is up. There's actually not a whole lot of guards here. So these little small huts catch the uh Hey boy, are you not done? Have you stopped to nap? Enough! Be I will have done! There's somebody to chase these Britons out of here. God, Zebar, you are a rabbit. We need to stick together. Dude is a, such a beast, man. He like can't just wait. Five damn seconds. Let you go, Carl. 
had that stealth attack, and then it got messed up. Loot this building out, then we'll burn it down. Bad burning these people's houses, don't you know what I mean? Like they're literally just innocent bystanders. <laughs> they got reinforcements coming in. Patrick, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. How you doing today, man? Sorry, bro. I know you were taking a piss, but it is what it is. Am I rocking the duel? No, I have one of the sway knives. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's those are what, so. Those are what those are called. The Sexu, how do you say it? CX? Sex. I'm gonna swap to this. You think those Danes will ever stop You think killing Rodgers' brother should be enough? Help! 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 There's some big sniping right there. You seen that shit? Stacks. I will broil you alive and feed your balls to chickens on the air. What? Ivar, you lost on the beach of Mona and you will lose here. Your army is weak. We will 
guts, you like tired fly! I'll pull your tongue through the back of your throat just to shut you up! Damn, I wanted the Oh, that was a really cool looking savage. Yeah, that's the last of them. Let us get a good view of our handiwork, Jailbert. Join us, Eivor. I mean the three of us put in some work, I'm not gonna lie, but still, dude. Eivor! Did you see Jailbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Jailbert, your god bores me to death. Have a laugh, we won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth. Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We've spilled enough to slake the thirst of Femini. Why stop there? Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need me. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or... fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. I don't mind fishing, bro. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport? There's no chance the fish will kill me. <laughs> I mean, there's some fish out there that might. Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. Can actually use some of these eels. The water's boiling with them. Got it. Bring it to shore. The little guys though, chat. Got it? Hooked. Bring it to shore. Bro, it seems like I'm doing all the catching. Almost enough for a hearty soup. Sure. Nothing like a little bit of fishing after a huge battle, right? Ooh, that's enough for now. Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. But Ivar is not going to care, or Ivar is not going to care. 
That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. The fighting is done. The talking is not yet begun. You will need to be careful about who attends our negotiations. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Can't, yeah, I was gonna say, we can't have Aver, Aver the chat. He... The man doesn't think. He just does. You know what I mean? Which is important to have. I don't... I don't I'm, I'm not knocking him. But, uh... Yeah, he's just... No one you want at the negotiation table. Will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! We'll be playing the forest uh, later on tonight. Chelbert? This will be our second game for today. be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Ang Harrod, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chailbert must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. There it is. <whistles> what 
hope nothing happened to him, though. It seems a little fishy that he... He went out hunting and never came back. Don't soon you'll be Enderman. Have you seen Tailbird? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Arderling. Ask another. I'm looking for Tailbird. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Oh, there's Eva. The untrusted. Ivar, it is done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chelbat? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chelbat? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Tailbert? Tail... Bert? Did none of you see Chilbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. Does he often get this soaked? By all the gods, he does. Twice a week. Once for Throw three him days, in the water, chat. Before, then twice on Sundays. And when you need him to sober up, what do you do? Keep this to yourself, but once or twice when I needed a quick word, <laughs> I dumped him in a lake. It's worth a try. There it is. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. Hell yeah, we're gonna throw his ass in the water. I do want to thank you guys. Almost 300 likes on the stream. All right, bud. Wake up. Yeah, that was not as throwy as I, uh... Looking for Chailbed. The soft Saxon boy? The next elderman, yes. Said he was going hunting to bring back a feast for Ivar and the rest. I know he went hunting, but where? Round the mouth of a cave nearby. They followed the stream up the mountain, south of here. That's enough to go on. Thank you. They followed the stream south of Westbury. What is he talking about? This stream? Yeah, it's right here. How you doing today?
Be my eyes, Sunan. Over that way. Of course, I came on the wrong side of the the water. mountain or a cave that he went into what happened here this doesn't look good yo is that his So he, I think he killed the. It was a wolf. This isn't good chat. Okay, I think he went through that way. At least it seems like he was smart and fast enough to get away from these damn wolves. He's jacked up. Uh, 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 Bat, you live. I... I uh, stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Guards. The Briton crest. Keep breathing, boy. Oh, you haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Shh, save your strength. Come on, dude. Hey. 
I... Hush. Hush, Gilbert. We'll soon be among friends. Okay. Really? Here, faster this way. Just breathe, Gilbert. We'll soon be there. Found him deep in a cave beset by wolves. Ivar. Easy, boy. Easy. E. Ivar. Get me an axe right fucking now! Ivar. He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. We were fools. An Aetherling was entrusted to us in time of war. We did not protect him. I taught him to protect himself! Not well enough. This was stuck in his chest. Britain's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolav, over here. No, I feel like this was... That, it has to be a setup chat. The walls chat. of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. You must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolfkist. You spared that wet turd Leofrith. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaobert! Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Sent the boy's body to his father. Who won the Christian burial? Lady Young Harrod said Rotary is holed up in Kausto Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. By the way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rotary. Is there no way to save Chilbert? So unfortunate, man. What? Out for a trot? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, there's no way to save him. Poor fucking dude, man. Yeah, he was a good kid. He had, you know, he had a good heart. Uh, his intentions were good. Stop and follow me. There's work to be done. I should have seen this coming. 
I should have known he would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rodri's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. In Quartford, you told me Rodri gave you that scar on your face. In Quartford, you told me Rodri gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? If not worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. They had got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beating. Put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my Drangir, sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are, all lined up. The biggest one calls out, I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers. But the Britons are clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one, Brodry cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning. Damn. Tell them King Brodry gave you that cut. Hen shit, I say. Brodry laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. Son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. That sweat sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be oh, defeated big. by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one, all right. Send a message to your men. You can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. That last castle, that actually looks tough. There's like a drawbridge, and it's very isolated. I love it. Oh, he's beautiful. No They're eager to pay out our revenge. Yeah. You're welcome, baby. So you can clear the castle before the invasion? Doesn't actually work like that? Oh, they respawn? Gotcha. We got eyes on this this cat. Oh, this is gonna be good, chat. This is gonna be good. All right, give me one second before we push this.
All right, let's do this, guys. All right, here we go. It is invasion time. I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Yeah, these castle sieges are... Like, I love Odyssey chat, but these castle sieges are 100 times better than Odyssey's uh, battles. Like, 100 times better. See how much more cinematic they are? Boneless Ragnarsson. How is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Bars. Gaze upon my face, king of crow food, and meet the dragon that will devour you. I see a spent old man playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires. When I am done with Rotary, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. No, I mean, yeah, of course you're still just killing people, but you're not just spawning into a flat field and killing the same five captains. That's our guys. All right, let's get up here and get rid of these.
I'm gonna see if I could use it for anything. Okay, so we gotta plant explosives ourselves on this gate. Generally not like that. That's not okay, so I gotta drop the drawbridge. So I got to get up in here. I knew this drawbridge was going to give us an issue just from the layout. Still got the arrow sticking out of me. Fredricio, thank you so much. Um, and Frederico, I appreciate the super chat, man. Huh. You make a pitiful dragon. Man, <laughs> my man was set on fire and got mad about it. I felt the rotting old oak. He's not dead. No, I have something else planned. Spectacle, remember? The man is dying. Come away. Let the Nordnir spin his fate. Oh, no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come. All right, let's do it. All right. Let's see what the spectacle is. 
Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Abel, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rotary. Oh, it's an upgrade. Throw an axe fury upgrade. One of my favorite skills. That's so good. So what does the upgrade do? Level two um, upgrade. Any enemy struck will also be staggered. Nice. I'm interested to see what this spectacle is going to be. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die with honor. No, no, no. He must die with style. Dear King, stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. I killed King Ella, King Osbart, King Edmund, and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri! Are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak. But as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. It's a hell of a freaking ride, man. Here we are. Bring him close. Eivor! I am usually the one who wanders off! up there to the top and keep him breathing finish this quickly Ivar. see here a hungry blade now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal the blood eagle Ivar, is this... The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. That is a Norseman. The true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, 
I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. The fog between good and evil grows thick over time. But glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Owls come lungs, and we spread them like wings. All of Mercia can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. And nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny. And become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! This is a life, Eivor! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! Sense of menace! When I stab Guriad, you wait! You cower in the face of sudden drama! Take your tongue! Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Valkyrie's approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Eivor! Give a 
right here! To Helheimer with you. Eivor! With Selbert. Oh, man, that dude is a... Carry the body to Quadford. We'll say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Uber. Tell him... his brother is dead. That Britain dagger we got, that's not one that we can use, is it? I don't believe so. I think it's one that we can probably sell or something. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta speak with Daryloff. We're gonna clear this abbey on our way out. Man, this was a this was a pretty interesting uh story area. I did not expect Chilbert to get like get killed. I don't know why I thought that like he would just keep going and going. Ivar has had that coming, though. Like, he's been giving us a hard time for the past couple times we've worked for him. Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uba. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You! After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbat and pinned the crime on Rotary to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? Death at my hand was his final aim. He wanted the glory of a bloody end. An end you did not deny him. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. Sir. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery. And that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwolf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shot. Corpses. 
Ivar gone. Shiropshire an ally. I should confer with Randry. Like, the crazy thing is just like... I didn't wish the guy dead. Like that, you know what I mean? Like, was he a pain in the ass? Yeah. Did he need to go? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I guess I kind of did wish him dead. Never mind, chat. He was a menace. Things are uh, now better because he's not here. Even his brother said, you know, with him gone, peace and silence is now possible. <laughs> Alright, so what we are going to hit on our way back down, um, we're going to clear out this, uh, abbey here, we're going to raid this. Over here. Come on. We got this. Shouldn't be too bad of a raid. Hey, come here. It's here. Told you I'll be playing all the DLCs, yep. Yeah. Maybe I'll get some decent upgrades when we get back. We're done here. Come on. Oh, that was it? I don't know what I expected more than that. Talk to hate them. 
I know we cleared London, like he asked. Greeting. I do have six medallions. Awesome. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of my gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done Whoa. well, but there are more still. Fire strike. I have to go. Then go in peace. Nice, that gives us fire arrows there. That's pretty useful. I forgot I had that wolf takedown ability. Yeah, his name is Haytham. Yeah, he's like, um... Uh... Davor, have you seen Wallace? Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. I got you. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. Right. We can't leave her hanging, chat. Go! I like these little side quests that, like, are tied to the camp, though. Like, you just get a little, you know... It, it helps bring it to alive, you know? It helps, you know, introduce the other characters, make them seem like they're more than just NPCs that stand around. I think this is the second mission we've done with her so far. We can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left. Go, if he did. my eyes. Oh no, Eivor! Over here! Is he his body or so? A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heavy. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness. I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Hmm. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Why would he leave his campsite? Where could he have been going? Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. What? Come this way! 
What have you found? I saw it, Eivor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The white elk. The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. She might, I think she inhaled a little too much of that. Are you certain? Pixelated, how you doing, man? I'm no longer tripping. Petra, where are you? Hmm. Okay, maybe we are tripping, chat. Um, because that's our father figure. Ah, Pixelate, no! I appreciate that, but guide me. Have I lost her too? Oh, I really do appreciate that, man. Petra, show yourself. There's the it's getting dark. white elk. Ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. Okay, so we've now entered the realm of Far Cry. <laughs> I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. <laughs> Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. You live a comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! <laughs> Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. The Midgard, return to Jotunheimer! Jotunheimer? What have you done with Petra? What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Abel! I'm there! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Abel, I am right here. There is no need to question this carrion further. Ah. Uh, uh, yes. All right. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. His trail leads this way. Petra, I, I met your old friend, the White Elk. Yeah, killed the shit out he that chicken. before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited. For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there. Yo, this we is a strange Seda, Petra. Where are you? We are super high. Like, we, we've crossed the realm of too high, chat. <laughs> Eivor, come on! I'm up here! Well, you're Petra. teleporting. How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move, run in a straight line.
No, 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 no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it! Just like your Sunin! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I... I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. Of course. <laughs> of course, the rabbits. They're always... You always gotta ask the rabbits. Here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. <laughs> She's... She, she caused a bad trip. You see my brother Ace? Come on, this one doesn't speak rabbit. Did she say that that rabbit doesn't speak rabbit? I see him. I do. Come on, Eivor, chase the elk! This is how you end up permafried. to show for it. <laughs> uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone-brained stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! Freshly rested and ready to work. You're days late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> We're tripping on shroom, shrooms, chat. Dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rabbits for permission. There it is. Now, nah, was it cheesy? They had to remind us. They had to remind us. You always got to ask the rabbits. I wonder if she had got any information from, uh, Figured if he... Good 
day. If he has an update yeah, for us. I with Shropshire, but at a grievous cost, young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. My man. I want to see the Alliance map. Okay, so we only have the one area left. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Oh yeah, I forgot Sigurd got captured. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. Fulke is one of the top... Um, she's one of the top, like... Templar people. I forgot he got captured. Good. Be safe, Favor. So this is going to be more assassin oriented. Dag, Basim has brought word of Seeker's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. You wish to stay, so be it. But when Sigurd is back among us, we'll see what status you have among the raiders. Say whatever makes you feel superior, Eivor. I know Sigurd will understand my decision. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your Jarl? A fine way of putting it, Wolf Kissed. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. Yeah, I don't know. I think I want to. I think I want to beat the shit out of Dag more than I did Eva, chat. I don't like Dag at all. Like, is it just me, chat? Am I being a little too sensitive, or was any like? Did, were you guys also kind of just like, yo, I can't stand this dude. <laughs> Explain how the feast works. Um, so, Dovka. so glad. To see you. Um, there's a uh, a bunch of little areas you could build in your base here, and um, what it does is is uh, they'll add to the feast buff, and the feast buff is just like a passive buff that uh, makes you stronger. Uh, so let me get the crow up. Yeah, let's get the cardiographer. Cardiographer, um... Officers, multiple gear and ability loadouts. Ooh. That costs a hundred of something. I don't even know what the hell that is, though. Oh, I th oh wait, those are the supplies we get from the river raids, right? Hey, Eivor. Hey, Blue Eivor. Oh. 
I'm gonna upgrade my dagger. And then we're gonna go ahead and get that uh like to see what you have in stock. Get our hands on that, ah, that one's pretty good. cartography or whatever. Okay. You are looking powerful. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Be well, my friend. I actually have no runes in my weapons right now. I, I did take them out for the, the spears, so... So I don't use poison right now, so it doesn't really matter. Let's get the flanking one. Okay. Da Wolfka. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, my people passively do stuff on the raids, or people use my my people, right? And then I can collect the money. Where do you collect that from, though? I thought it was from her. I'm off. Be well, friend. Maybe nobody's used my stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade this. So we're short a little bit on iron. I'll actually go up and buy some of that real quick. Hello, Avor. The Wolfka. You look Got a lot of stuff we can sell. What have you got for me today? Only a fool would pass this up. Anything you find. Bring it to me. Damn, I didn't get as much silver from that as I thought I would. Let's see, so we're gonna buy all of this. I'll be sure I could keep these in stock for you. Done shopping for the day? I will see you later, friend. Always a pleasure, Eivor. I wanna see if any of these fish I have can be turned in for the mission. I brought something for you. I've never even seen this fish close up. No, we haven't really done any fishing, so we don't have much to turn Only in a here. Only true fisherman could catch this one. 
Oh, look at this. You get nickel from this. We've been looking for this fish for a long time. Seems like you can unlock some pretty cool stuff just by doing the fishing missions. Grandfather will be excited to see this catch. I have to go. See you soon. Come back soon. All right, so now I can upgrade at least this dagger, right? So that's level five, and then we'll get this one up to level five. Uh, when we're going through towns, chat, I gotta remember to uh, start hitting some of their shops. Hitting some of the shops and just buying any iron as we go as we go through towns. Is this, that was the shipyard cart the map places up here. That's not it. This is show me what lies ahead. Can you remind me what you do here? I've traveled this great country and found all manner of secrets, plus a few points of interest. For a price, my maps can be yours. If you want access to my maps, I need access to a workshop. If you can't build me something, I'd appreciate it. I'm off. Be well, friend. Now we won't be playing okay, Hoggers for you. today. We're going to be playing this, and then we'll be playing um, The Forest. work really thank you for seeing these I would like to see what you have in stock okay these so be very useful uh hidden treasures can be found all over England if you know where to look for a price your cartographer Olsen can provide you with coordinates to these lost okay nice so I can get the ingot map uh shows all hidden ingots gear map oh, these aren't expensive at all Oh, it is for each territory. So where are we going right now? We're going to uh, Kent, right? Or Sent? We'll buy all the maps. Keep an eye out for wild animals here. For that area, since so we're going the there. On your map. Oh, is it just one? Oh, okay, so it's not as cheap as one would think. Do that though. Got it. I'm tracking chat. I have to go. See you soon. Be safe out there. Yeah, it's pretty useful, especially if you're looking for something specific. So for instance, I, I just unlocked all these, so now I know where all the armor pieces are. I know where the ability points are. Let's head down to London, and then we'll cross the London Bridge here. Make our way in the scent. Kent. I can't believe Dag really just freaking. Uh, I don't know why, guys. He really bothers me. And I want to thank you guys for over 400 likes on the stream. Seriously, I appreciate it. Get 
so hard to get to the back of this bridge. Bob, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, Jason Hall, I think this is a phenomenal game. It's my second favorite Assassin's Creed game. Out of all of them. Okay, so we're in Wessex. Uh, we gotta get over to here. <laughs> but yeah, I did punch the horse quite a few times. It wasn't intentional, though, you know. But it, it did happen. That's the best news of oh, my brother! Die! Hey, bandits. I can see you. I should find him soon. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak in here really quick. Get this, uh, get this ability. to try to light these dudes up in the grass here. Just inside this side. Yeah, the best way to look for playlists on my channel, guys, is to go to my actual home page and click on the um, playlist button, and then look for the uh, the the section called created playlists, and that will show you every playlist on my channel. Um, it's generally one of the top uh, parts of the playlist uh, page. It'll say created playlists. And I will show you guys any game I've ever played. Ever. Alright, so now we gotta find a way in this place.
Of course, they couldn't make it easy to get in here, right? The bird up in the air will scout like this. Is that a way in right here? Yep, right through the backside. Yo, why can't I shoot? Uh, because I have no ammo. So I used to play in Hogwarts. Every time I go to use my scan, I keep hit hitting the button for Revelio. He doesn't know where I am. Got him. I didn't even have to kill that guy to get this. That's an upgrade for a dive of the Valkyries. Upgrade inflict stun damage within large radius. Okay, so it's like a little AoE stun. We'll be getting the flight point too when we get over here. Uh, Mason, I'm doing good. Or May Mason Masonicia. Masonus. My dyslexia is kicking him hard. Mason Nisa. Mason Nisa. Mason Nisa.
show me. Aren't those these little lynx cats from... They had these in Origins, I believe. Oh, Mason is a vibe. There it is. Whatever, chat. I was close. <laughs> I was close. All right, let's grab this. Huh? What is it? Really good. I'm cold on my tooth. Huh? Oh, you got that from me? But I liked Mesa Nisa. I worked hard on that chat. You think I could just make this up like like it's nothing? Damn. Two locks or two keys. Key there. And a key in that church. Did she give me a PB milkshake? No, she. I think she made some. Uh, it's like it's homemade strawberry and lemonade. It tastes like. It's delicious. I didn't punch a horse like it's not like what you think chill it's not like I just like punched a horse now nah, that sounds way way more uh, savage than how it actually happened like people are leaving out some details <laughs> like you know how it is they don't, people only tell part of the story. <laughs> only telling part of the story. <laughs> the whole story there was a horse and he punched it multiple times god the lies the lies I'm being attacked see people didn't tell you what the horse did to me you know what I mean like they only talk about me punching it but how about you guys tell him what the horse was doing when I punched it? Hmm, chat? Yeah. Conveniently leave that part out. Uh, Mason, I that that's some next level support right there, man. I appreciate that. All right, 
We got both the keys. All that for a nickel. I feel like I was owed. I feel like I was owed more than that. Well, no. I think that's Bassem right there. Clothes kind of stand up. Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve. Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe slain by a despot have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor, and I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. Yo, hmm. Basim is an asshole, man. Like, I, maybe it's just because he doesn't know how... I, I, I sit here and I'm like, yo, in Mirage, because he has a whole game based on him. I'm like, are we just going to be walking around being an ass to everybody? <laughs> <clears throat> so what of the Joy Kanga Fulke? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Cunibert. Full of pious fire. But with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come. I will introduce you. And we'll hear the full tale together. <clears throat> the instrument of the ancients. I'm gonna like this one, chat. It's, it's gonna be a, an assassin alone, I am oriented one. And never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I oh. watch them. Wish I could have his clothes. Learn from them at all times. This is our duty. The hidden ones calling. You know, for the first time since we met. You sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I know he's an assassin. I want him to see that. Yeah, he's a real assassin, too. Show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? I do wish I, you could get his robe, so. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Bassem says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. 
little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. <laughs> Don't to we all? Him before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. If we do this, how will you find Fulke? I want some kind of assurance. Do you have ears in every church, abbey, and cathedral in Kent? Because I do. And I will find her. And we will do the deeds to staining for a Christian soul. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll give the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Falkenstone. See a bunch of people saying that you can get Basum's outfit from the Ubisoft rewards? What the hell is Ubisoft rewards? How do you check what the Ubisoft rewards are, chat? I don't even know what the Ubisoft rewards are. Ubisoft. Come on, you guys are schooling me right now. It says it's unavailable. So what I do, I mean, I'll check it out after chat or after after stream. Uh, it says it's not available right now. It says Ubisoft services are temporarily unavailable, so I won't mess around with it right now. I guess I'll look into it. So I just go to Ubisoft Connect. I bought a lot of Ubisoft games, so I don't know how that works, but I plan on playing all the DLCs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I know a lot of people are worried. Like, I, I said this earlier on in the stream. I know a lot of people because uh, Val Valhalla doesn't view very well on the channel, which it is what it is. Um, but I have all the intention on playing this game through. Now, I might not play it as in depth. As you know, I played, let's say, Odyssey, where you know I was doing every single side, every single thing. I'll probably streamline this one uh, a bit more, uh, just to get through the game and the content um, before it just absolutely obliterates into like no viewership whatsoever, um, because it is a very long game. So I'll pro I'm probably going to streamline this one a bit more than uh, previous titles. Press Alt F2. That brought up my uh Yeah, it brings up my NVIDIA shit. Oops. Um, but I do have like I said, I I do have all the intent on Ooh. Yeah, it says the same thing. Ubisoft services are temporarily unavailable.
No, yeah. So, yeah. So we will continue to play it. Um, you know, even if it doesn't do very well, I'm still going to continue to play it. But it'll just be a little more streamlined. And I do plan on checking out all the the DLCs. Uh, but we were we're going to end this episode here, chat. I, I start a little bit later. I'm going to go eat food, but I want to make sure that I eat and get back and start soon, so we don't go really really late on the forest tonight. Um, but yeah, we're going to end this episode here. We're in a new region. We're going to be working with Basim. So the next. Uh, this all of this is going to be i'm pretty sure a little more assassin focused and i'll look at the ubisoft rewards or whatever later on um but thank you guys thank you guys again i i really appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out uh, hopefully i'll see a bunch of you guys over in the the forest stream that that is another amazing game next week guys sons of the forest i'm so excited for it uh but if you guys haven't hey make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the content uh, to help maybe get this the ball rolling on this series a little bit better uh if you're new to the channel hey, consider subscribing every little bit helps uh but other than that everybody if i don't see you guys in the forest stream i hope you have a great rest of your night and for everybody else hey i'll see you guys in the next one peace